What is going on today? We are showing off this massive haul of WWE action figures. So in this video, man, I'm going to be showcasing a recent haul that I did grab, man. And this was around $1,000 for all of these figures right here. Tons of great figures right here. Some really excellent pulls that I was excited to purchase and get in the collection. And similar to how we did it the other day where I showcased the massive pile of WWE action figures, today we're going to be doing the same thing with all of these hauls right here. However, there's a very unique thing about all these figures that we have here today. And to tell you more about that, I'm going to throw it over to myself. This video is brought to you by What Not. And my next Whatnot stream is going to be tomorrow night, Sunday, November 17th, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. We're celebrating the con season finale, baby. A massive celebration to mark the end of 2024 con season. If you're on the fence, you don't know what Whatnot is, man. It's basically like taking eBay and Twitch and combining them into one site. I'm going to be listing up a bunch of figures from my collection, as well as a ton of figures from this specific video. A lot of the figures that we unbox here today are going to be customized. They're going to be fixed up. We're going to unbox them. And they will be up for grabs on our Whatnot stream tomorrow night. And just like always, man, everything's going to start at a dollar. There will be some preset pricing over there. Some of the figures will just be listed as buy it now. So if there's some figures you've been missing out on, maybe this is the time to do so. If you've never been to the Whatnot streams before, man, you're really missing out because we do Whatnot exclusive customs, things that we don't even post here on the channel. So you're really missing an opportunity when you don't come over there. Click the link in the description below. If it is your first time signing up, you will get $15 free credit to use in the app during my stream or any other spectacular streams happening this weekend. Go to the link in the description below, download the whatnot app and bookmark my show for tomorrow night 8 30 p.m central time it is going to be epic man there's going to be custom championships action figures we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways a lot of free action figures up for grabs don't miss out on that nonetheless man i hope you guys will come by download the whatnot app click the link in the description below claim your 15 bucks and i'll see you guys tomorrow night brother so what makes this massive haul even more fun is we're going to be taking some of these figures, fixing them up, customizing them. I have custom WWE action figure belts as well. We're going to be doing a few giveaways over there on the stream, man. So come by the Whatnot stream. It should be a lot of fun, man. But let's showcase these figures, man. I was able to track down some figures that I had not yet gotten my hands on. And I think one of those first figures is going to be this Top Picks Jey Uso. I was so excited to finally obtain this figure. And I picked up a few of them. I picked up quite a few of them. The reason I picked up quite a few of them is because you guys know I love the Uso fix-up figures. Got the main event Jey Uso shirt. And we did just review the Elite 114 Jey Uso. And this one, the only thing that bums me out about this figure, there's actually a couple things. So on the back, you'll notice that half his sleeve is blue and half of it's black. Why didn't they give him a half blue, half black sleeve? That would have really threw it over the top. And also, I really wish this was based on the Elite 114 Jey Uso instead of the top picks or the Elite 106. If they had had the new shoe mold and new stuff on this thing, it would have threw it over the top. But I'm glad to have one of these. And we actually grabbed quite a few of these. So I plan on doing some fix-ups and shish. Another really exciting pickup. You guys know that I'm so behind on the Monday Night Wars line. I did grab the Ultimate Warrior from the Dusty Rhodes Wave. I think this is Series 5. It comes with Ultimate Warrior 6, Lita, and Razor Ramon. This set right here has avoided me like the plague, but we did grab not only the Ultimate Warrior, but we also grabbed the Lita from this set, which I don't know how I feel about the Lita in this set. I think it was kind of plain Jane, but we will get into this, and I don't know what... So I today I have to spend a lot of time sorting. I don't know what I'm going to leave men on card. I don't know what I'm going to fix up and customize. I don't know all of those things just yet, but if you guys have some ideas down below, you can let me know all those things. So typically on our whatnot streams, we do a lot of mystery items. So any of these figures could be a mystery item. I could customize any of these and we have some items not even featured right here that are also going to be up for sale. Some other figures that we picked up was the Rey Mysterio. Now this figure right here, I already reviewed it on the channel, but they did not have the Dominic or the LA Knight. They only had the Rey Mysterio and you guys know that this is from his WrestleMania 39 matchup. I thought about customizing this as well. I don't know yet. Again, man, today is going to be all about sorting these figures out, figuring out what I want to do with them, how I want to customize them, how I want to fix them up, and it's all kind of up in the air right now, so that's kind of what I'm got to do. I got to spend today doing that, but the Rey Mysterio Ultimate Edition is awesome. And then we did pick up a couple other Ultimate Editions. We did get the Walmart exclusive Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition Mankind, which was a really good figure. I like that's kind of a slept on Ultimate Edition. And then we picked up the other one in the set too, which is going to be the Eddie Guerrero. So we did pick up the Eddie Guerrero as well. Another really good figure, man. A really, really good Eddie Guerrero figure right 
right there. So we did grab Eddie and Mankind both from that set. You guys know that I had to pick up my man Finn Balor right here, man. So we did grab a Finn Balor. This is the Elite 111. You guys know I hate this formula, so we'll see what we do with it. I thought about customizing him as well. This is based on his SummerSlam matchup with Seth Rollins, I do believe. But another really good figure. If they didn't make the damn legs so small. So moving it right along, man, we also grabbed a Roman Reigns. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the tapered fade. We did do that beforehand. I don't know if I'm going to do that to this figure or if I'm just going to sell it as is, but it also comes with the Undisputed Championship right here. And then I finally found the pay-per-view limited edition Hangman with the terrible head sculpt. Now, I know that this figure is not the best of all time, but I like the gear. The gear's pretty fire. I like the packaging and everything. It's just that head sculpt, man. Buzz your girlfriend. Woof. But this is a cool figure. The pay-per-view limited edition full gear Adam Hangman. And then we did pick up some box sets. We picked up the Maya Villa Legacy pack. This is the second time I've had this set. I still haven't reviewed this set on the channel, and it was one of the sets that I was most looking forward to. I love this rock figure right here, and I really love the Peter Maivia, and I love the boot sculpt on this Rocky. So there is a lot of value here. I just think that a lot of people didn't want to pay the big price point, and, you know, the, the rock show, or what was that show called? I can't even remember, man. Life of Rock, or whatever the hell it was, getting canceled, or, you know, getting moved, or whatever it was, kind of slowed this pack down. But I do like this set. Also grabbed a couple of Brian Danielsons with the white tee, and I know his, you know, his torso is too big, but I really like the leg mold here. I like the on cloud shoes, and I like the white tees. There's so many, so many uses you can get out of these white t-shirts, so I like these. And then we did grab a Walmart exclusive Brody King right here, which, I don't know, I may do a fantasy face paint here. I may do something totally crazy with it. Might do something completely up the wall, we'll see. Or I may, you know, do one of his other gears that we haven't gotten yet, I don't know. But again, man, that's the that's the challenge for today. And on top of the Walmart exclusive Brody King, we did get the Walmart exclusive Darby Allen, which is such a good figure. I don't really like the jacket all that much, but... Just such, Darby Allen's figures are some of the best, man. Kenny Omega's figures and Darby Allen's figures are the best AEW figures they make. And I don't know who could really argue with it. I don't know how you're arguing with that. Hell, man, we even picked up some basics. We have the hoodie basic right here. I know a lot of people have been searching for this. And we do have two of these available. May give away one and then sell the other. I'm not entirely sure. But I did like the hoodie basic Cody. And then I do have the Shayna Baszler, which I know a lot of people don't really care for. But that's what we got, man. So we do have the Shayna Baszler figure right here. Basic. It's not a bad basic. Maybe, maybe somebody will want that. But we do have two of the Cody Rhodes right there. And then the last basic that we have, actually we have two basics here. We have Katana Chance, which I was finally happy to secure. You know, we found her on a lot of toy hunts, but I never pulled the trigger. And then we did find this new Austin basic with the smiling head sculpt, which is a really good one with the white knee braces, which is another just great figure, man. We also picked up an extra Elite 111 Cody Rhodes figure, which I know that a lot of people were bummed out, at least for me. For me, I was personally bummed out about this figure because of the legs. You know, the legs are really stiff, not very poseable. Maybe that's something we can change, man. No idea. We'll see. And then we did pick up the Olympic gold medalist with a broken freaking neck. We have the Legends Kurt Angle, which I still haven't unboxed, so I'm excited to pick up another one of these. Love the It's True shirt. They revealed this at WrestleMania 40 last year, which, or this past year, you know what I'm talking about, months ago, but I was excited to grab another one of these. We're also going to be giving away one of these four packs, so if you guys don't have this yet or you want to get in on that, we are going to be giving away one of these SmackDown four packs, and that's not all we're going to give away. Every time we go to the Whatnot streams, man, it'll be late in the stream, and we'll just start giving shish away we'll, we'll do five or six giveaways of random figures so you definitely want to get in on that man you, you, we're just hanging out man we're hanging out come by we'll do the deal and you know we'll hang out the stream's always a lot of fun the chat's always hilarious so we did get two of these four packs i really like this four pack man really really like this four pack i was was really really hyped when they showed this off and revealed it at wrestlemania or over that wrestlemania 40 weekend and then we did pick up a lucha lowrider right here which is a really cool set i think this car is really fantastic it comes with the Rey Mysterio basic right there. Comes with some different accessories. Doesn't it? Doesn't it come with like a baseball bat and stuff? Maybe I'm tripping. I might have just made that up. But this is really sweet right here, man. I really, I thought about customizing this car in some way, but I don't know. I may not have time to do so. And then some other figures that we grabbed was Bushwhacker Luke, and we do have both members of the Bushwhackers, so we did pick that up. And I, I know that he comes with a head sculpt, but I can't remember what the other Bushwhacker does come with, but we did pick up the Bushwhacker right here. And then we did get some Legends figures. We did pick up the Jim the Anvil Nightheart. I know a lot of people have been struggling to find this figure. We did pick up a Hulk Hogan as well. Really good Hulk Hogan, even if it is a very run-of-the-mill Hulk, Hulk Hogan. It's still a very quality figure. We got Elite 111 Trish right here. Really like the coat on this figure. Wasn't the biggest fan? I don't know. The head sculpt kind of grew on me a little bit, but I don't know where I stand on this figure. You can let me know what you think. We also have the Legends Greatest Hits Warlord Target exclusive figure. I think I owned this figure once back in the day, and then I have since picked up this figure, but I think I got rid of my... Or no, I think I turned this guy into Lars Sullivan. Jesus 
Christ. Y'all remember that guy? Lord in heaven. We also got Daniel Bryan Torso, Seth Rollins, man. I know you guys are going to be excited about that. this. Isn't it insane, man? It's got the white coat in there. It's the Elite 99 Rollins with a different head sculpt and the Daniel Bryan Torso. I thought this was hilarious. I had to pick this up. Here we have two more Jey Usos, the main event Jey Uso figures. Again, man, God, I wish this was the Elite 114, but we'll take it. And then we also picked up the Tribal Chief, and then we do have another Finn Balor Elite 111 figure. God, man, I wish, I wish they would give us the right head sculpts, man. Both of these guys need the faded taper beard so bad. Also picked up a second Hulk Hogan. Any figures we have two or three of, we may just give away those. You know what I mean? We may just give away the extra copies. Also have the pink Britt Baker, which I think is a really outstanding figure with the pink foil and everything. This figure is underrated. We got ourselves a second Daniel Bryan trash torso Seth Rollins. And last but not least, we do have the Monday Night Wars Rock and the Bushwhacker Butch. And I guess Bushwhacker Butch comes with the arms. So he comes with the suited arms of Adam Pearce. And then the Rock figure comes with what of the Disciple. The legs. The legs of the Disciple. So that's cool. I am so behind on the damn Monday Night Wars line. Makes me vomit. Anyways, man, here is our massive haul. You will see that there is so many figures. There's some under there. Some over there. Some on top of the bench. Some on the right side here. So many figures picked up right here, man. Such an incredible haul. I'd like to know down in the comment section below if you think this was worth the pickup. Do you think all this right here adds up to $1,000 or do you think that I was gypped? I want to know down in the comment section below. Everybody said last time I got gypped on my $1,000 mystery box purchase. So y'all can let me know those things down below, man. But go to the link in the description below. Download the WhatNot app, man. Come by. Sign up so that you do not miss out on the stream. It's always a ton of fun, man. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. And again, we're going to have custom titles. Going to have mystery items. Going to have a lot of great stuff, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. You guys are incredible. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. I'm getting out, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>